This is how much I really made on my first wholesale deal. What's up guys, my name is Brian Tran. I'm a serial entrepreneur, business owner, investor, fix and flipper, and I still wholesale properties. So check this out. I created this channel really to help you guys better yourself, to learn and find a trade and a skill that will allow you guys to get out of the rat race and into the financial freedom space. Let's go. I wanna take you guys back about maybe six, seven years ago when I fell into wholesaling. And really, I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I probably made a bunch of mistakes. I probably could have made a little bit more money. And realistically, I did all the things wrong and still made 20 something thousand dollars. So for those of you guys who do not know what wholesaling is, wholesaling is locking up a property, getting a signed contract, and then assigning that contract to a new buyer for a fee. Simple as that. So here's how my first wholesale deal went down. I got an email from another wholesaler saying that he had this property for $800,000. I actually found another buyer that was willing to pay $825 and they closed on the property and that $25,000 spread or difference went to me and it was that fast. 20, 20 days, made $25,000 and it felt freaking great. So let me take you guys back to the beginning. And this is why it's so important to network and go out there and get your name out there and get on other people's mailing lists. So the wholesaler, I met him through probably one of the events. I honestly don't recall which one, but they had a lot of off-market deals. And I was like, great, I actually need off-market deals for my buyers, my investors, because that gives me the competitive edge. So I get all these emails all the time. Some properties don't make sense, some properties do. And that's what happened. One came in in an area that I knew very well. I knew that these homes traded typically a lot more if they were fully remodeled. And it was only 800,000. The crazy part is, is that I actually fell into wholesaling because I was so trained to find properties and get paid a 2.5% commission because I'm a real estate agent. But of course, when the email came in, no commissions paid. So I'm like, hmm, well, how am I gonna get paid on this transaction? So that's when the idea came up and I kind of knew what wholesaling was. I, I kind of knew people were selling contracts. So I said, oh, okay. I would like to make $25,000 on this deal, right? I'll try for 25 and if they beat me up or they don't, I'll still make something better than nothing. So I basically locked up the property with the contract saying that I would buy the property. And you basically write your name and you have to put and or a signee, which means that you can then change the name in escrow. If you don't do that, guys, you can actually void the contract by putting somebody else's name on it. You're actually not legally allowed to unless you put or a signee, right? So I had the property locked up in contract. I went out and I found an investor. Now, how did I do that? Well, because I already knew going in that this property was gonna get flipped. That's my buyer. It's gonna be a flipper. And it's pretty easy, again, by going out there and networking, you begin to meet people that are fixer, flippers, developers, and you just write it down in your books, right? Like, hey, Will likes to buy this property. Brian likes to buy this kind of property. This is his budget, this is his budget. You go down the list and you call people. Hey, I have this property. Are you interested in taking a look at it and buying it? It's worth this if you put in $100,000. Right? And literally, if you do just that, your phone will blow up. People are gonna be like, holy smokes. Yes, I want it. And that's what happened. I brought the buyer in, he looked at the property. He was like, man, I gotta put about $200,000 in. I'll sell it for about 1.4. What, what do they want for it? And I said, huh, 825. No questions asked. Yeah, that works for me. And so they literally got it into contract as well. We assigned the contract for them to give me the fee. They bought it. And then when it closed, escrow, which is the third party that kind of facilitates the money and then the, the ownership, it makes sure that they disperse all the money out. So the 800,000 went to the other wholesaler and seller. And then the 25,000 went to me and the new house went to the investor. They ended up flipping the house, making a lot of money. And it was a win-win situation for everyone. So that's how you guys can do it too. That's the easy way. Guys, it happened pretty quickly and I probably made a lot of mistakes. I probably could have charged a little bit more, but honestly, I was just happy to make 25,000 because up until then, like I had to sell a 1.4, $1.5 million property to make $25,000 because I would have to then go through my brokerage. The brokerage would then take a cut and then I would be left with whatever's left over. But with wholesaling, 
I charged 25, I got 25. And I was like, holy smokes. I was like ecstatic. Cause up until then, that was probably the biggest check I've ever made. Like I sold a lot of properties that were worth more, but because my splits were so bad with the real estate brokerage, I wasn't taking home nearly that much. And that's why wholesaling is just so much cooler. It's faster. You don't need a license. You don't need to have a college degree, a high school diploma. You just need to know what you're buying the property for and what is it worth to someone else. Whatever that difference is, guys, goes to you. And so this is the part that you guys have been waiting for. How can you guys start today? Well, I would just start going out to all your local real estate meetup and keeping it real simple, getting on all the wholesalers off market deals and then start building up on the other side, the buyers that are flipping, the buyers that are developing and build your contact list and see if you guys can start matching some of these people up and charging a fee. Now, that is one way to do it and that's the easiest cost effective way. Now, is there a better way? Absolutely. And I want you guys to go ahead and comment and subscribe guys because I will be dropping something later on this year that's gonna help you guys become better wholesalers and run it more like a business. So guys, if you like what you see, I want you guys to watch this video right here. It's gonna show you guys some of our other projects, our other flips. Take a look. Thank you guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one.